Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I'm a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. And today we're going to talk about Active Directory group types, specifically security groups versus distribution groups and when you would use them. When you go into Active Directory users and computers and you want to create a new group, you get several options. Today we're not talking about group scope. We're specifically just talking about group type and differentiating the two. I'm going to go a little backwards here and we're going to talk about distribution groups first because I think once I explain what those are and how they're used, I think it'll make more sense uh, when you understand or when I explain what a security group is. Now, a distribution group, you would use that typically for um, if you had Exchange in house or you were syncing up uh, with Active Direct, uh, excuse me, Azure Active Directory and Office 365. Um, you would create a distribution group. Let's say let's t let's say we're picking on the sales group today, right? Let's say we have 50 people in our sales team, and you want to send out a blast email to the whole sales team. How would you do it? You could do it one of two ways. You could put every single salesperson's name into your to field uh, in either Outlook or Outlook Web Access, and that is not a uh, it's not a great way to do things because if somebody leaves, somebody joins. It's not a great way to, uh, plus you can enter 50 email addresses. That's that's crazy. Um, or, or more, depending upon how many are in that department. I'm just using 50 as, a, as an example. So what do you do? You create a distribution group. And every time somebody joins or leaves the sales team, um, you will go into Active Directory and you can either add them to the group or remove them from the group. Uh, so that way, all you have to do is type sales at you know testcompany.com and boom, you're sending out a message to all 50 of your sales staff at once. And you don't have to type in their individual email addresses. You don't have to uh, remember who's here and who's, co you know, who's come and who's gone. Um, so that's where you would use a distribution group. Uh, a security group is very similar. Uh, however, instead of, uh, instead of accessing, uh, or excuse me, instead of sending an email, you're using it to secure a network resource. So uh, most commonly think of uh, like a file share uh, on your file server, right? So again, let's pick on our sales, let's pick on our sales team again. And let's say we have a shared folder uh, on a file server somewhere in our test company or our lab network, whatever you want to call it. And let's say we only want our sales team to be able to have access to that folder. Again, you could either go and assign every single salesperson direct access to the folder because Active Directory and um, you know your file share permission stuff they'll they'll let you do it'll let you do it. So the right way to assign permissions to uh, a network resource is done through a security group. And in this case, we could take our we could create a sales security group, right? And you could, you know, you can call it whatever you want. I've seen different things over the years. You know, let's say we want to give them read write access to our sales folder. So you could call it sales uh, RW, right? So you know that uh, the sales team has read write access to the sales folder. And along the same concept of our distribution group, as people come and go throughout the company, uh, you can update just one group and you can set the permissions based on the group. So let's say, uh, you know, we're going to have our sales folder, our sales shared folder. We're going to assign the sales RW group to that uh, shared folder with read write access. Instead of changing the permissions on the share every time somebody leaves or joins the team, all you have to do is add them or remove them from that security group and they've already got the same permissions that the rest of the sales team does to that folder. So that's the way that that's the difference between the uh, security group and a distribution group. And when you would use the two of them, it's a basic high level overview, um, hopefully just to kind of break it up for you guys. So you understand what the difference between the two group types are in Active Directory. Um, when you build out your Active Directory environment or you walk into an Active Directory environment, you really want to keep it as clean as possible. Uh, I've walked into places where they don't have distribution lists, they don't have security groups, everything's assigned individually. And trust me, that makes for a giant mess. Keeping your Active Directory environment uh, clean and neat and tidy is the best way to do things. Uh, it's going to help you. It's going to help whoever walks in after you. Um, any consultants that you engage in your endeavors throughout different companies, 
um, it's just going to help make the process that much more smoother. So uh, when you're think about this, when you're setting up your Active Directory environment, file shares, distribution groups, that sort of thing. Again, remember to put in uh, descriptions uh, when you create your groups and not getting into that in this video, but keep your environment neat, clean. Uh, you'll thank me for it later. So hopefully that, that helps you guys differentiate between the two group types in Active Directory, security groups and distribution groups. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe below. Leave me a comment if there's something you want to see. Uh, like I said, I've got over 15 years of experience in the IT industry in various different fields um, or various different um you know, uh, industries within the IT field. Um, you know, so if there's something you want to know, something you want to see, leave me a comment, shoot me a message, etc. Um, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more IT related videos.